Welcome everybody to the uh, episode by episode review of 13 Reasons Why Season 4. Uh, it's it's all it's all fitting because this is where the episode by episode motif started. So uh, I started watching this at around 3:30, 4 o'clock in the morning. So the first episode, uh, I mean the first like episode review, whatever that I recorded is like all. Oh, I don't know how to describe it. I just saw a puffy like that, um, and then other parts I, I just you know so. Take everything I say in this as a grain of salt. It's less of an actual cons comprehensive review of the episode and more of just a, I just watched the episode. Let me quickly give a thought about it. There's, of course, stuff I like completely missed about it in the episode, but uh, stick around to the end where I just give, give a whole review about basically the whole season and give some fun uh, stuff about the, sh the whole what I thought about the whole show I guess I don't know let's just get into the first episode hope y'all enjoy subscribe if you do like I don't you don't have to like that's dumb I, I don't care I love you what on this season of 13 reasons why uh clay loses his shit oh this okay first thing I noticed about this uh episode in and I'm assuming the whole season is that the produ production volume seems to have gone up it's almost like the show looks cleaner. It looks higher quality, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm watching it on the same stuff I've watched every other season on. So, you know, it's nothing different. So it's obviously something in the show. Um, Jessica is still a bitch. I still hate her. Hate her guts. She's annoying. It's funny how they took a very nothing character from the first two seasons and made her into a very awful character in these last two seasons. It's really funny. Um everybody's gay everybody's gay um the asian dude and shoot his head kid who murder kid i can't remember any of their names kissed and it's like i guess they're gay i <laughs> i was actually laughing at that scene i was genuinely laughing when that happened because everybody's gay i'm sorry it's just funny um it's 4 a.m so uh yeah basically clay's freaking out um nothing I don't want to say nothing happened in this episode because stuff is happening. I love the new Wilson, Walter, whatever his name is, villain guy. He's such a, a, an evil villain. It's like they're taking these evil villain tropes and they're making them. Like Bryce was like the big bad Bowser, you know, kind of raw villain. And this guy's like, oh, oh I'm going to outsmart you, you imbeciles, kind of stuff like that. It's hilarious. I love him. Uh, not, not in the 13 Reasons Why Everybody's Gay way. I just, you know, he's cool. Annie, Ani is still an awful character. She is a Mary Sue, and I hate her. Um, Tyler is chill, and that's it. Uh, yeah, so um, Clay's little visions and stuff are kind of getting annoying. It is interesting how they are really pulling like a, a Steven Universe future, I guess, and just dialing back and saying, yeah, this dude is messed up. Uh, but it's also kind of annoying how they're do doing it, you know? Um uh, oh, Brian, are you just annoyed because you fell for the Monty Still Alive thing? No. It's just annoying that they keep on doing it. We get it. He's going insane. The therapist was enough to relay that. So let's let's watch the second episode now. This is, this is going to be getting fun. Sorry if I don't really mention anything from like the beginning of the episode. It's mainly because I just don't remember the beginning of the episode as well because I recorded this right after I watched the episode. But anyways, this episode it's kind of they're just mainly going more into each character and the roles um what's his name shoot himself kid is you know he's gay it's uh i think they're trying to do a, like a coming out thing like uh oh we're cool with gay people now uh jessica and annie are still just kind of there thankfully you know they're coming in small doses which i am very happy about uh jessica they seem to always have to have her be a little a little biatch all the any chance they can get which is super annoying you know, it's it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Clay's still freaking out, uh, like, Jesus Christ, calm down. Uh, Waller, Willer, whatever bad guy's name is, is getting super hammy with all the people. And I kind of like it. It's almost interesting how uh, they're doing that. One thing I'm definitely noticing about this season is that they're more confident in their storytelling. Uh, in the first two seasons, it felt like they just had a like a, a way they had to do things and then they did it that way it felt very robotic and starting in season three you could kind of tell where they're like oh we could we could say anything and as long as we say we're doing it for good reasons we're blah 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 so, but then this season it really shows that it's like wow they're really confident which makes 
makes this show funny for all the wrong reasons. I am seriously laughing at the worst parts. There was some part in this that I can't remember exactly, but I remember like really actually laughing about, but it wasn't supposed to be funny. And then the whole stuff with them trying to turn clay into the... F oh, I remember. It's the fact where he's like, I was hard and I was scared. It's like, I'm scared of my pee-pee. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just too funny. But they're trying to make Clay? I, I don't know. They're kind of... I was kind of on board with the whole he's freaking out. But then the end of this episode really just cemented that I think they're running out of ideas. I don't know. Zach is a Chad. Zach is a total Chad. You know. Zach's a Chad. So, that was episode two. Let's, let's watch episode three. Should be interesting. You know, I like it when shows do this, when they give little mysteries um, closure... So it feels so it gives the illusion that something's happening, when in reality nothing has happened yet, except for more characters are realizing that Clay is going insane. Uh, Clay is going insane, but nothing has really happened yet. You know, it's like they open a new mystery, they solve it, and we're back to square one. Clay's going insane. <laughs> what? What the heck? I think they're obviously building up to something with Clay. Um, there was that funeral thing that they were teasing, which meaning that somebody's gonna die. Uh, it'd be hilarious if Clay killed himself. <laughs> Not saying that suicide is funny, but it'd be a perfect little, little bow, a little bow on it, everything. Um, uh, well, something is happening with Tyler and the cops, I guess, so that's something. Uh, shoot himself in the head kid is super gay now, so that's another something. Jessica is such a scumbag, bro. Jessica's the worst. I hate her so much. But yeah, nothing more I can really say about this episode. Senior camping trip, that sounds like it's going to be fun. Oh my god, we got to take a breather after that one. Man, oh my god. Best episode so far. You know, I got to I gotta say, we're not even halfway through. Best episode so far. They are seriously on some Riverdale type stuff, you know. They're going all out. I will first off say that, like I said earlier, the budget for the show must have been raised... Because, or maybe it's because I'm a sucker for camping, or not really camping, more just whatever. Um, but the, I think the episode looked aesthetically pleasing. It looked high quality. It looked like the filmmakers actually knew what they were doing. Um, and the whole, the whole trip, pun intended, was just insane. It's just crazy. S someone else is messing with everybody, apparently. I don't know if they're alluding to the fact that it really was some axe killer ghost baby or whatever i don't know i don't know like i said best episode so far it's one of those things where so much so much stuff actually did happen in the for this show is getting smarter in the ways that it will have so much stuff happen at the same time have basically nothing progress you know and does the i think his name is alex does alex's dad know that his son killed bryce because the way they were talking to each other in that tent really made it seem like he knew. Like, Alex told him, did I miss something? Did I miss, like, a a scene or something? I didn't fall asleep. So, like, what the heck is going on? It's crazy. The Wilson or Walter, whatever the guy's name is, he's... It's almost like he's behind it all, but he's not. You know? So, there's some other thing messing with everybody. You know, and what, who moved Clay? It's like, what's going on? I like how they're doing less of a murder mystery and more of a what is going on mystery. You know, the first, the first season was like, what's, you know, what's the story behind everything? The second season was a bit more backstory. The third season was a murder mystery. This season is just a what is actually going on. It's, I think the reason why I'm liking this season the most is because it's just very straightforward. There is no back and forth time stuff, you know? It's not trying to be smarter, it just is being smarter. Which, <laughs> I hate this show so much, but I love it because they're actually improving. You know? They're actually getting better. They stop trying to be pretentious and being all, oh, we're actually smarter than the average show, and they're actually being smarter than the average show. So, you know, you gotta commend it. Gotta commend it. Best episodes by far. Alright, so episode number five. Um, we go from, like, the best episode of the season to... Not the worst. This definitely wasn't the worst. It was just really mediocre. It wasn't, like, bad or anything. 
Uh, I don't really remember too much even happening, honestly. Uh, except for this, I mean, that's probably because this was, like, in the middle of the episode, I took, like, my first actual break of watching this stuff. You know, so, I don't know. Uh, the Alex, Alex and Charlie took pot cookies. Um, Zach is Zach. Tony did a boxing. Um, apparently, what's, uh, Tyler's buying guns now, apparently. Um, Jessica, so awful. Uh, now it's like a total whodunit on the, I guess you could call him the villain side. Um, what's his face? Clay is going insane. Even more. A uh, car crash. At the end of the episode, there was a car crash. Video over. Wait, why am I saying video over? <laughs> Uh, that's the episode. Let's just go on to the next one. This one was kind of a nothing episode. Well, that was definitely interesting, to say the least. I will say that with how modern TV works and that not being the penultimate episode, I did kind of know nothing big, huge is going to come from it. I did think it was a drill and that it was going to end up being a drill. Um, but can we talk about how no school would actually do something that drastic? <laughs> Like, maybe the fire alarm, but then, like, really, the blank shots? Are you kidding me? That would never happen in real school. Um, th that's rant for later. But um, I think this was mainly more as a character kind of study and to move the plot along more with the Tyler stuff. I feel like they kind of ran themselves into a corner because this season doesn't really have a murder mystery or anything going like that going on. Except for, like I said, the villains, quote-unquote, trying to figure out who the murderer is. And the one dude coming step by step closer. Um, so yeah, it, it was an interesting episode to watch though. It definitely did keep you on edge uh, until they revealed it. And then that reveal was kind of like, okay, what do we do with the episode now? And then it was obvious that they just got to wrap this episode up. So something's going to happen in these next four episodes. Who knows? I don't know. Eh, I don't know what else to say about this episode. I can even plug my mic and this one's going to be quick. So I realized that after a while of saying nothing happens until like the end, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that I, I now realize that isn't always true in the episodes. You know, you got to be aware of that stuff is actually going on. But in this episode, it was just so boring. So boring. I almost fell asleep twice. It was so boring. Episode seven. It's they're running out of steam here. Like. This, the season's only 10 episodes and they still can't handle it. I guess other seasons have had short or like filler episodes like this, but this was just awful. This episode was boring. Super boring. That's it. Well, what a. What, 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 what well timing for this episode. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't like the whole concept of teen uh, protesters. It's It's very dumb to me. Jessica is just a very awful character, and she's very annoying and awful. I don't really know what to say about this episode, except for at the end there, it was like, oh, turns out he was behind it all, the, all along, and it's like, well, yeah, that's kind of obvious. Like, it's pretty obvious that he was forgetting stuff, but, you know, maybe it was caught off guard by someone else. It wasn't one thousand percent obvious. Like I could, I was saying it to myself, but then like when they when they said, I was like, yeah, yeah, that was obvious enough. So you know, uh, fine enough episode, I guess. It's kind of a kind of a meh one. You know, we're about to reach the penultimate episode, which is going to be the big one, the big one. So let's, let's just jump right into it. Once again, no mic. So. I don't know, this was just made like the perfect season finale, so uh, I was just waiting for that zinger to hit, that little punch of something at the very end, and they really waited for the very, very end. So it's like, what's even the point now? It's like, what's even the point? Because like, that made the perfect season finale. And then obviously, uh, I think, I think Justin's gonna die, and that's gonna be who the funeral at the beginning of the season was but like come on that made the perfect finale how why do you have to one try and one up yourself like that it's honestly kind of annoying because you know sitting through the whole episode that something's gonna happen i obviously thought that diego whatever was gonna go to the cops about the bryce situation or whatever obviously they just dropped that because you know 
get away with murder and all that. So I don't know. Let's just finish this off. I've sit through almost ten hours of this shit. Two, one. Well, this video would have gotten out sooner if I didn't just pass out during the middle of the episode. Because this episode was probably the most boring in the entire series. Yeah, they really stretched out every single minute. And the episode was longer than normal. Why? There were so... This whole episode was just two people sitting in a room staring at each other. Or endless monologues of people talking to each other. It was so boring. I'm beyond it. <laughs> it was seriously boring. God dang it. I'm not even joking. This episode just was awful. I spent the last ten hours of my life... Um, watching this awful show so let's talk about the season before i talk about the whole show for a bit this season i will say felt the most different from any other season it felt like they were like i said it felt like they were more competent more like they were better prepared with this i don't know past seasons have felt like i'm yawning again uh. past seasons have made it feel like oh we're smarter than other tv shows because they'd constantly do the flip-flop time thing and whoa look at this epic reveal and ha ha whoa and this season didn't really have that kind of with the therapy but also it wasn't like a main focus or anything so it was just being a show so instead of acting like it was smart it actually got to be smart um so yeah they must have put more money into it too because or maybe they just decided to make everything look brighter, which I say I really did like. I'm so tired. <sighs> because even the dark scenes looked fine. You know, I don't really talk about how the show looks because it always just looked like a bland cause teen show. The season was definitely distracted and it felt like halfway through they just kind of exhausted their idea. <laughs> Ugh, sorry, that was gross. I feel like the only idea they had going into this is let's make Clay go crazy, and them try to f and then the other Win Winston and whatever try to figure out who the murderer is, and it's in like they realize they got to like episode three and they're like oh shoot we're kind of we don't know how to keep going, so they kept adding in little stuff to try to fill in the void, you know it's like what the heck it felt like they were just making stuff as they went. You know, it didn't really feel like they had a plan. At least in past seasons, it felt like they had a plan. But, I don't know. To rank the seasons, I'd have to go back. Because <sighs> it's been literally two years now that I've watched the first two seasons. <laughs> so, I, I couldn't tell you. I think I'd choose... I, I think I'd like this one more than season three. I don't know. I had more fun watching season three, though, because I guess it was because that mystery or whatever. Obviously, these writers just can't ha enjoy or can't enjoy can't do a normal teen drama, I guess is what they're going for. There are so many actions by the characters that I just thought, why did they do that? Uh, everybody's gay. Everybody's gay. I swear to God, this show is pushing an agenda i don't i don't care i don't I didn't care about it it just did get kind of funny when they kept adding gay characters and alex kept making out with every single one of them i did kind of like when the dean turned out to be gay i don't know if that was them kind of making fun of themselves like well, he's gay like what i don't know i kind of want to thank that so real quick i kind of want to talk about the whole show in general so exactly two years ago on this week uh, I went on a New York and Washington trip, which y'all can watch the videos of that, and um, the season two just came out, and now everybody was talking about it, hold on, <laughs> so I was like, why not, I got nothing to do on the bus rides, nothing to do in the hotel while we're waiting, I might as well watch the two seasons, so I binge watched the two seasons, uh, like when we would be riding the bus or you know, doing whatever, so, you know, I didn't, and it's one of those shows that it's just like, what what even is this? It's so dumb, but it's captivating, so you have to keep watching. Season 3 definitely was the most preachy. Oh, definitely was the most preachy, which was really annoying. You know, especially with Jessica. Uh, they kept changing out so many of the characters. Clay was a bland protagonist, but he 
got the job done. Hannah Baker wasn't even that hot. Can we please agree? Bryce was an evil mustache twirling villain who then they try to make sympathetic. And then, that's what I don't get. It's like the show doesn't know what they want their bad bad guys to be. Because they're bad guys from seasons one and two. And then he's like, oh, I'm actually sympathetic. Oh. And then it's like, oh, I'm actually evil though. And this season. Huh. But it's like in this season, it's like, oh, I'm actually sympathetic. No, in this season, he was like, oh, I'm actually evil again. Mwahaha. And then it's like, oh, guys, guys, murder, it's okay. As long as you murdered a rapist. It's like, no, that's still bad. What the heck? I don't know. It's one of those shows that I definitely do get excited for every time it gets announced. It won't be getting announced anymore. But I do get excited for and I can say I do fully enjoy it ironically. I don't actually, I'm not actually invested in any of these characters. Like, uh, Justin, I could care less that he died. You know, I hate Jessica. Uh, ironically enough, I think she's the one I'm most invested in just because I wanted her to die the most. Uh, but I don't know. It's like I'm not actually invested in these characters. I'm just... I wanted to see where the show would go and why it would go there. Because this show could get bonkers sometimes, you know? So, that's the episode of the show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I got it out the day uh, of it coming out. I, Like I said, technically I've been up all night. But I started watching at about 3.30. <laughs> and it's like 6 o'clock now. So... Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know if you got other Netflix series you want me to do episode by episode on, then that's cool. This is where it all started, guys. This is where episode by episode started. Uh, be sure to subscribe if y'all enjoyed. Yeah, this is a longer upload. So, video over. That's this whole series over, guys. Final thoughts on 13 Reasons Why. It's fun to enjoy it ironically, like for the fact of, oh my god, this show is so stupidly preachy. Like, god, it really thinks it's smarter than it is. But then at the end there, it kind of did actually get as smart as it wanted it to be. So, you know, expect the unexpected, I guess. Video over. What's something that they said in the show that I could, like, say now? I should have made this, like, tapes or something. I should have done tapes. That would have been cool. Video over.